Alistair Crowley, born October 1875, was an English cultist, ceremonial magician, poet, painter, novelist, and mountaineer. He founded the religion of Thelema, identifying himself as the prophet entrusted with guiding humanity into the Eon of Horus. Born into a wealthy family in Royal Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, Crowley rejected his parents' fundamentalist Christian Plymouth Brethren faith to pursue an interest in Western esotericism. He was educated at Trinity College in Cambridge, where he focused his attentions on mountaineering and poetry, resulting in several publications. Some biographers alleged that here he was recruited into the British Intelligence Agency. In 1898, he joined the esoteric Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, where he was trained in ceremonial magic. He moved to Bolskin House in Loch Ness in Scotland. In 1904, he married Rose Edith Kelly, and they honeymooned in Cairo in Egypt, where Crowley claimed to have been contacted by a supernatural entity named Iwas, who provided him with the Book of the Law, a sacred text that served as his basis for Thelema. In this book, it is declared that his followers should do what thou wilt and seek to align themselves with their true will through the practice of magic. In 1907, he and George Cecil Jones co-founded an esoteric order, the A.A, through which they propagated Thelema. After spending time in Algeria in 1912, he was initiated into another esoteric order, the German-based Ordo Templi Orientis, OTO, rising to become leader of its British branch, which he then reformulated in accordance with the Thelemite beliefs. Through the OTO, Thelemite groups were established in Britain, Australia, and North America. Crowley spent the First World War in the United States where he took up painting and campaigned for the German war effort against Britain, later revealing that he had infiltrated the pro-German movement to assist the British intelligence services. In 1920, he established the Abbey of Thelema, a religious commune in Cephalu, Sicily, where he lived with various followers. His libertine lifestyle led to denunciations in the British press, and the Italian government eventually evicted him in 1923. Crowley gained widespread notoriety during his lifetime, being a recreational drug experimenter, bisexual, and an individualist social critic. Crowley has remained a highly influential figure over Western esotericism and the counterculture, and continues to be considered a prophet in Thelema. Crowley died 1st of December 1947, age 72, in Hastings, East Sussex, in England. And his ashes are buried in Hampton, New Jersey.
Right, we're on our way to the Alistair Crowley house. Now, if anybody knows anything about Satanism or magic or weird shit, this guy was one of the world's most renowned and famous dark magicians. People still follow what he, he did to this day. And yeah, he was a bit of a dark horse really. I mean, the sorts of things he was talking about doing to kids, hmm, yeah, puts him up there a bit with Jimmy Savile and worse. We don't know whether or not he did some of the things he was talking about, whether it was just done for infamy, or whether he did actually do some of the things that he used to write about. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's just allegorical. He didn't really do those things, he's just using the words but not doing the actual things but it's like some of the shit he's talking about like i could be wrong here like killing babies and shit like that this was not one very well adjusted man if you ask me and we're gonna go and see his holiday home hmm yeah and joining us we have got not one, not two, not three, not four, but six Urbex interested people. We got Mr. We got Mr. Dan Dixon, Proving Demons, Andrew. We got Derelict Plymouth and Earth, Simon and uh, Dave, and we've got two others whose names I forget because I'm shit. But I'll get I'll get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're on our way up. We, it's a long old walk, apparently, to get to this place. So, yeah, join us, shall you? Here, look, footpath to footpath to Zena Hill and Coit. Now, Coit is a stone mound. It's a set of stones, and uh, Cornwall, which we are in, is very famous for stone circle, stone mounds. As you can see, it's pretty rugged landscape here. No two ways about it. This is some rugged, ragged, gorsy crap. Reminds me of Wales. <laughs> yeah. And one thing you can say about this place, even though there are some vehicles supposed to be up here, is it is remote. It's the sort of place you need a four-wheel drive vehicle or you probably wouldn't be getting vehicles in and out here in the summer. And by the way, this is not the way that vehicles would come. Uh, but there is a very bad quality track which leads up there. But uh, we could have probably got Dan's vehicle up there. But we'll have to see. Now, if he had a Tesla, he could just press a button and it would come to him. So we could get a quick ride home. But oh dear. <laughs> is this like um, the crystal maze or something? Yeah. Jeez. I think even cows are afraid to come up this. But as it gets darker, we'll see what this place is like at night. <laughs> oh god oh he's got his his, his trainers come off oh no his trainers his trainers come off oh dear oh my god now you don't pull an Andrew and lose a shoe <laughs> that's that's the uh, Andrew's taking the other route round he's having post traumatic stress yeah <laughs> Yeah, take the high ground, as they say, innit? <laughs> Not the low ground. I think they're actually doing something here, the new owners, so oh. that they're going to get a car. Sort of, this wasn't here like this before. Right. I think they're starting to dig up. 
So this would have been the old trackway then, is it? Yeah. So you don't think you can get a, a car up here? Not now. Not even Dan. Not, not even Dan's there. car with his massive tyres. <laughs> hey Dan, how much would we have to pay you to like do, do a ferry trip up oh, and you down? Pay me. I'd enjoy doing this. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is. Don't get more real than this. YouTube in case they find this camera and our bodies. Yeah. I regret not going back to the catacombs. <laughs> I regret not sleeping in the cartel all night. Yeah. I regret not buying a warmness. I regret not being the grail. This fill time. Might be bummed to buy one tonight, Dan. You might not know this, oh, I'm mess him up now. You might not know this, but uh, Mr. Crowley, if anyone can actually hear this by the way, Mr. Crowley was in touch with a being that he drew that looked like an extraterrestrial. It was a Australian yeah. 1940s something, was it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go and see if we can find any aliens up there tonight. Oh, it's windy though, so. That might be the only last piece of audio you ever hear from us. <laughs> Racing cold winds. At the end of March, it looks like it's going to rain. What's that, you couldn't finger? Yeah, I'll tell my brand is down there. Oh, shit. That's it, see, now the, the land has drawn your blood. That's part of the ceremony. The land has taken something from you. Yeah, don't worry man, I feel the same. 
It's like exercise. Who needs that shit, eh? Yeah. Who needs that? Max Bob. Only queers and steers need exercise. I definitely want to steer. Dan Dixon has been uh, put under a spell by the, uh, the voodoo magic. It's making him unable to move. Zombie like. So, it just Clarkson style. Sorry, Dan, we can't help you. Goodbye. It's nice knowing you. Hello. God. Is this is this part of the magical initiation? We've got to go under the fence. He's had his blood taken. Yeah. So like, all we have to do is. <laughs> now his shoes are coming. His shoes have been claimed. Spirits have taken his shoes. Yeah, they claimed somebody's shoe. They claimed some blood. Now we've got to walk round the stone three times, and then Satan's or Crowley's spirit will come back and show us that he is, in fact, a relative of Jimmy Savile. So there we are. That's another footpath. It could be, yeah. Uh, goes out directly to the west. Special uh, significance here for lovers of uh, simulacra and occultic meaning. Step through the valley of stone. And here we are, look. His house also has its own stone. Yeah. Right here. So, oh, no, that's the end of the video. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So we walk. We we'll walk around this stone three times to charge the energies. So there's two times. And three, three times. Garage. This is uh, the, the the garage of Alistair Crowley for his four by fours sports cars. No, I think when he was up here, they didn't have stuff like this. But you have to wonder how the hell he got a vehicle in here. I mean, because I mean, it's just it's all stone walls. I mean, how the hell did he even get a lot of demonic stuff in here, Dan? Yeah. On uh, EVP, so I'm with you. Oh, yeah. yeah got, um, we call him Alistair, and this is Crowley. We call him a priest. And then I actually believe, as do a lot of other people, that we've got his voice in there. Because yeah. he, he had a certain tone to his voice, Crowley. I did not know the guy before we searched him. And he says through the radio, he goes, keep practicing in this Crowley sort of accent. And I looked at it on YouTube and I was listening to his voice after voice and I put it into uh, Audacity, both together, and it was, yeah. it was sh shot. shot. Let's get it out of the wind then so we can uh, see what's going on. It did have electric up here, but you have to wonder whether it was a generator or no. petard, retard entrance, retard entrance. 
so yeah this hasn't been lived in for a while but you've got you've got another room here look wow look at this people have been sleeping up here sleeping in here so wine bottles and stuff over there Nature's trying to take this place back over. A lot of thorns. Oh, little door. Little door. Here we go. Here we go. No, Sephiroth. Right. Well, that was underneath there when we came. That wasn't here, this. It was something else, wasn't it, Hayley? Yeah. Um, wasn't it a load of uh, round balls? No. On there, no. like bowls. I know what you've seen that, that on them. That was dark arts, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. These are the these are the, these are them. Look. Yeah, they went here when we was here. When yeah. We was here a week before he came. Yeah. Those those had all the names like uh, Yoff uh, yeah. and yeah, like Sephim and Sephiroth. Yeah. I think he had his own experience from Chod? Chod? Scotland and coming here. Yeah. Be honest, man, I had a killer headache in there. Yeah, I've seen it. I hit the door like eight and five. Yeah, you had, you had the door being kicked. Oh, yeah, the door. And you wasn't doing it because no, you came past the, the land over. Somebody kicked the door while we were just stood here. And you know, it's as well. I thought it was weird because last before we got here, it's been storm brewing. Yeah, yeah. storm brewing outside. Yeah. yeah. And it's been That's sunny weird. all day. Yeah, it has been. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Haley's in the shorts. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. She was wearing trousers, but since we come up here, she's wearing shorts. <laughs> this is like weird shit. Thick wall on the bottom of the legs. Well, we had this fire lit yeah. the last time we was here. Um, all the candles are gone, Haley. Yeah. 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 The last person did painter Now this would have been an original fire look. I mean this is this is ancient. This is ancient um, stuff. Leave us sale. I'm not sure. I, I yeah. But I believe that it could be um, some satanic people who were doing this to a lot of places to keep people away. Putting a profit that they own places that have been sold before. But I want to The name of this place, the Bray, was actually four of these in four mile radius of here. The exact same name. Come and sit by the fire for a spell, sugar. And if you notice that the T is an upside down cross, come and sit. Am I starting again? Yeah, yeah, come here. Cut. Sorry, it's a scene two. Go. Hi, my name's Mark. Hayley's in there. We run Ghost of to Cornwall. Um, started off doing this for Andrew, really. Been following him since his first thousand subs. And when I came here, first of all, with Hayley, I had the words coming through the ghost box, Alistair Crowley, we call him the priest, direct into my ghost box. And um, there's all satanic stuff around here, signs that you're gonna see. We've had, um, we've been touched. We had a voice direct to camera from there saying, baby come to bed, from a voice upstairs. And you can't even get up there. There's nothing up there. Yeah. Um, we've had smells of sulfur, rotten flesh, headaches like you've experienced, um, really bad feelings that you being watched. It, you know, you, I want you to experience it yourself. I don't yeah. want to put things in your head. Well, I'm telling you now, I, I do have a killer headache right now. Like, yeah. absolutely killer. Got, where's yours too? Is it, where? Where's yours two right now? Mine, Point, yeah. My headache is right, right, mine's, right, right back here. here. Mine's here. Mine's here. And I've only got it since I've stepped over this borderline. Yeah, I, mine only happened when I stepped in the room. I was perfectly And fine. you're still on that right now. Yeah. I don't know what that is. What is this? Well, it's satanic, whatever it is. It's satanic. Uh, mm -hmm. rituals. Yeah, well, what is it? I've never seen that before. It's yeah. called a Sephiroth. It's called a Sephiroth. What does that mean? Sephiroth. A Sephiro or Sephiroth. Well, Sephiroth is uh, Final Fantasy VII character. Yeah. Well, so it's, what, sorry? It, yes, but not in this 
ba basically, you transpose that on a human body. It's like the chakras, oh. and uh, but it also represents the magical Kabbalah. Wait, so if you wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I read books on it. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's just read books on it. I've never practiced it, but I've read books on it. What if he was actually one of uh, Alice Krauss' biggest followers? <laughs> they send yeah. him a, a living reincarnation. Mm. <laughs> hey, well, have you got your red head torch? Yeah. Could you put it on a minute, please, and see if that one that was here before is still here? Oh, and if we if we get into any trouble, we're not getting any phone signal, by the way. No, no, you will out there. Yeah. Just outside, just outside that door, you'll get a phone signal. Uh, Not in here. Okay. Or in that corner there where Haley is, you might get one. Okay. So she's going to get the red light out. Apparently, below this, there was a one point. Yeah. Proper, 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 um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, numbers on it. I'm coming out here to get to get some signal so I can find out what the Sephiroth is about. So that's that's the Sephiroth there. Oh wait. Okay. okay. That's the sephir off there, and it's to do with the ten, ten points of the Kabbalah, which, if invoked correctly, will bring bo forward Ein Sot, which is the uh, the demon. That. Oh yeah. Hold on. So what what is it doing now? Right. If you invoke this in the correct way, you'll bring forth Ein Sot, which is the uh, the demon or the the spirit, whichever way you look at it. Well, I noticed the difference. Do that. I don't know. You'd have to do it in the right order, and basically, you'd have to put like there's a circle around this, and you have what's known as the negative veil, which is up up on the top, and then this is probably the positive veil on the bottom. But have you noticed they put but, a satanic sword in this one, as opposed to online? There's no. Satanic yeah, there is. Sword. There is, but it's actually encoded into it because you can actually draw, you can draw lines through the middle, which is like dart, which is it's like the invisible so if you if you make the invisible visible which would be the center bit which is normally not so this one here is a special one so it's kind of it's there and it's not there so if you decide to make it there and you prop the lines through it then you create the pentagram and there's actually two there there's one under the other one yeah and you can spell, I just spotted the symbol where was it yeah so have you ever seen one of these yeah. carried out no, no, I haven't, no. But they have names, like that up there is Keta, as in like Ketamine, <laughs> Bina, Homa, Chesed, Nezra, Malakut, Malakut is on my foot, uh, Yesod, Hod, Tiferet, Gevura, Bina, and Dart is the one in the middle of the pentagram. So now we've we've done the invocation of the names. <laughs> now the uh, the zombie apocalypse will begin. So So also these these correspond to planets, planetary alignments. So that up there is Pluto. That one there is Saturn. That's Neptune over there. That's Mars in the middle. Uranus is in the middle, go figure. Uh, Jupiter, the Sun, Mercury, yeah, Venus, Luna, as in the Moon, and at the bottom, at the base, is Earth. Uh, let me see if we can make this work. Mm. Do you want me to turn my light off? Uh, yeah, turn your light I can make this work. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Dan, can you take the photo? Best off setting it right back. So it's right off the right, let's, uh, put it on that shelf as well. Yeah, this will do. This will do. Doing a spooky shit now. Spooky shit photos. Cock and ball torture room. That way. Right. I'm. I'm going. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get this photo. Uh,
Oh, it goes up to the roof. Oh yeah, you need the candles. Whoa, what is that? Oh shit. Too much wind. Yes, by all means. Thank you so much. No worries. I've got to light these and then get the shot. Um, well, that's not too bad, the wind through there, is it? Is this somebody's bag? Right, ready? Just move it slightly. It's this window I have to pop. Yeah, well it reduce reduce as much as we can. Alright, step out of the shop for me for a second. Certainly. Stony! It's too focused, bro. That light's too bright. This one? Yeah. Is that a camera? Yeah. Alright, we'll just stick it in the camera. Feel any strange feelings in here or? No, but if I am going to have anything happen to me, because they do it here before I have to walk back to the car. <laughs> yeah. It would be really cruel to make me walk all the way back to the car and then kill me. Yeah. Now, see, what'll happen is you think you're walking back to the car, mm. and when you get to the car and you open the door, it'll be like, boosh, and you'll be back here lying on that. And it'll make me do it again and again and again. Yeah, and you'll never be able to leave. Well, I suppose the upside is I don't go to the wife. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just have to come back to Simon forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's a modern roof it's got um, modern stuff in there and that's good wood as well that's why this room has lasted that wasn't, that wasn't a hole there last time we came up there oh there, oh that yeah it might be somebody's taking the slates off they might have nicked the slates but the actual roof itself is uh, yeah, yeah. is pretty good yeah. What's his name from the uh, Family Guy? Peter. Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. That's the one. He's the What's this? The sludge room. Should we check it out then? <laughs> sludge room. Sludge room where all the sound changes. And it's uh, a lot, it's like deadening sound in here. So it sounds deadening in this room. And when you come in here, it becomes quite echoey. So it's a lot more echoey in here, sorry. Yeah. Satanic cross, as my foot goes through the floor. It's about right, really, isn't it, when you're looking at a satanic cross. There is a path there. Tools. So, yeah, the roof's been done fairly 
modern work. There's a bird's nest up there. This is a cock ball and torture room. And it goes up two set of steps that go to the, the roof. So you can actually get on the roof. Let's see whether we can do it. Here we go. Oh, there's a house over there. Not a million miles away. I didn't realise there was a house that close. I thought this was really remote, but there's a house over the other side. Over there. Wow. This is uh, this is the moor, folks, and this is his roof. Get back in then. Get back in whilst getting is good. This roof has uh, collapsed in. But, you know, if you wanted to come and spend a couple of days up here, it is fairly dry. If you wanted to check out the the vibe. As far as we know, the ferryman's evil spirit, and then there's a girl, there's a kid in there for some reason, which we think is the younger to take it out, and then and then we've got uh, the guy who runs up on the stairs. In that place. Yeah, it's I'll give you the I'll give you the Yeah, well, it's quite a lot of history on um, good old Wikipedia. Each time we went there, wasn't it? <laughs> You know, I've had the odd experience. Mm. Front door. Front door. Private property keep out. A bit late for that now. A bit late. So here we are at the spooky, spooky evil dead, evil dead house. Some of the tiles have gone, but not all of them. So, look, the vehicles never work. When you take them to the Evil Dead house, the vehicles stop working and somebody steals the battery. And as you can see, no battery. So, yeah. So this vehicle made it up here. The occupants were then killed. But these were actually on the... Um, on the inside, these are the uh, these are the little bowls which were in there. There we are, Chessed. Chessed, it says on it. Look, Chessed. That's the balls. Chessed. Right. Now, if I find a find the correct position for it now. I'm where it's meant to go. I mean, it's possible the wind might have blown them outside, but. Oh, yeah. Oi up. Oi yeah. up. Somebody might film it for me. Yeah, yeah don't mind. There we go. You just put it on the pillow. Alright. Just make sure, no matter where, where I'm at, film me. And if noise or something happens, turn to the noise. Yeah, right? When I'm back. Is it recording now? I think to start, I'm going to lay down on, as you called it, the Sephiroth, right? So, this should be quite interesting. Uh, if you guys want to move closer, we'll see what happens. There's a bit of broken glass on here. Let's get the wind. Let me just move the broken glass. All right, I'm getting it started. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Not as if you guys have a satanic altar in your house, but if you do, don't do this. Rain. Well. 
I thought I thought I thought that said Alistair. It was singing, but it said Alistair. Yeah, that's what I got things like that. Yeah. Can you say Alistair Crowley? It's Andrew. Alistair, you said it then. Did it? Yeah. You said it. Yeah. Yeah. Alistair, is that you? You can shut up. What have you done here? What happened here? I didn't. I didn't hear it, but I saw you react to it. it was yeah. Like, it was, was there like a white flash? Then? I didn't see, see a flash. You saw a white flash? No, I didn't see a flash. No, it just it sounded like someone was stamping through there, and I felt the vibrations on the floor. I don't think oh, there's any way through there, is there? Like just as you reacted, wow. and towards that door. You caught it then. Well, well you were yeah. filming this way too. You must have caught it. I was looking at you because it called you. A I was shocked. I I had a quite a wide view. There might have been something there. I'll have to check my footage. Uh, wait, 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 we play your footage. Yeah, because yeah, he's got a good view. He's got a good view. What do you mean? It turned itself off, didn't it? When? When I went there, I heard a doot. Is it still recording? When you went in there, it's, it's not glitching. I mean, made the error and I fixed it. Yeah, tell me. Why are you I think the paranormal feeds on fear. I mean, if it can scare you, then it it, it extracts something from you. The problem is, is I've been to I've been to the most haunted place on the planet, mm. and I've still not had anything major happen. I've never seen a full apparition. I've never seen a ghost. So, what makes this place any different? Probably famous, happened, famous probably happened to you on your own. That's the thing. See, famous last words. That, that yeah, yeah. Three weeks later. Mmm, nice. Oh, that's our, that's our Alistair Crowley fire. Oh, 
So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hey, your fire wasn't this big? Jesus. No. No. <laughs> and it all shits out. Very careful. Fucking nails and stones and all sorts. It's not too hot, is it, for those bags? Stones. Stones. So there we are folks, Alistair Crowley's house, nice bit of a fire going on, pretty good. Dan Dixon, inviting invite in the, the spirit of uh, Satan inside him, he wants it. Do you want a bit? Do you want the lights down? Yeah. Yeah, just that fire. Mm. If Alistair Crowley's here, make yourself known. Use the fire as energy. Yeah, just something out of the fire. If you're throwing things out of the fire, don't burn the house down. Just had the knob come out of your chest. What? Whoa. 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 Just had the knob come out of your chest. Shit, stop shooting out of the fire. What the fuck is going on? An orb just come out of your chest. What? <laughs> Shit, you not? You get out of the orb? Yes. Hmm. An we... orb came right out of your chest. Should we charge? It's weird because I've got really, really weird chest pain in here. What is going on? There's no, there's no we... other orbs here. There's no dust. Showing up. Stuff shouldn't be firing out there. I haven't got my um, backlight on or nothing, it's just a camera. And yeah, Dan. Right out of your come chest. on, carry on. Bring yourself further down. Your head needs to be in the pentagram. That's it. Bit further. Bit further. That's it. Yeah, your head's in the pentagram. Arms out straight. That's it. Straight out. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out the names of the Sephiroth. Okay. Okay. We've got uh, Bina, Keta, Hokma. Gevara, Hezed, Dat, Hod, Tefereth, Nezar, Yesod, Malakut. There you go, Dan, you charge now. Show yourself. Give us a sign you're here. Use the energy of the house, the fire, and Dan, of course. There is no orbs showing whatsoever, right? And I've got an orb that came out of that guy's chest. Sweet, I've got a bad pain in my solar plexus. Maybe it's energy. Yeah. Try and direct it how you want it. It's getting cold for me, can No, not getting cold for us. You want breath? See your breath, yeah? Mm, wow. your breath. It's getting colder. What? It's freezing. Oh, yeah, that shouldn't be on. Oh, wait, are you guys warm? Because I'm in the sun. Oh, my breath. And it's cold right now. It's changed, isn't it? It's changed right now. Yeah, just mm. then. It was cold. red hot a minute ago with that fire. No, I'm freezing. How can that be possible, though? Ask for something now, Dan. Come on, Alistair. Something's You've got here. everything you need. Something is here. You know who we should probably be calling out for? Yeah, Chirozo. 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 I know Alistair defeated you, but he's still here. I'll up there 
a moth on your arm. Just yeah. showing that. Yeah. My hands are tingling my heart. Feels like I've got a pair of needles in my hands. Something's affecting you. Like me in this uh, in my left hand especially. Is that you? Affecting Dan? No, it's not in this hand, it's only in this hand now. Really bad. Mm. There's moss flying around me. Mm. That's you, continue to do it. I want the full experience. Let's call it out again. Ina, Keta, Hokma, Dat, Gevura, Hesed, Tiferet, Hod, Yesod, Netza, and Malkut. Give Dan the energy he requires. I got back pain started as well. Back pain too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like up in the middle back. Yeah, middle, 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 middle back. My old friends, it's gone dead warm. Mm. It feels like it's gone dead loose as well. Sensory back. Now that for me is always a sign that the spirits around because the spirits affect your kidneys, mm. and when your kidneys affect you, your back starts to ache. They use the water for energy, you see? Mm. So your kidneys will be kicking off and you'll get back eight. Not feeling anything now. Right. That was interesting. Pins and needles are gone. Does somebody want to take this camera for a second? I want to trust them while you're still right there. Just uh, Oh, hey, shooting some out. Yeah. Is that no go yet? No, we're not going anywhere. What I said. Clearly say Alistair from here. Say turn. Yeah. Whoever you are, tell me your name. Whoever you are, tell me your name. Years ago. Years ago. I just want to know your name. Devil. Said he's mine. Mm. I it's not a trust. Who's the priest? Who's the priest? Who's the priest? Tell down the name of the priest. Crowley. 
All I want to hear is crowing. Check us one of the cameras if you want. Check us one of the cameras. Wow, brilliant. Crowley's such an unusual name as well. Yeah. It's like, that's why I wanted Alistair, maybe Crowley. That's a very unusual name to get out of a spirit box. Good job. Okay. We've made some contact. Nice. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. You just got contact. Thank you for that. I just told you, Dan. Crowley. Yeah, take it easy. Got any water, anyone? Mm. I'm all right, I'm all right. Take a lot more than that for me, Dan. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done stuff that uh, Colin do, which is good. I think there were probably some more words and, and things in there that we didn't quite pick pick up what they were saying, but... Alistair Crowley! Alistair Crowley, I heard that! Alistair Crowley! Say it. Go on. You've got to believe, now that I'm hot on a second, let's read something. Hold on. Yeah, Dave, 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 Right before he gets up. Just as you go to pass it to him. No, he's just a get up and. Yeah. Yeah, that sounded like it. the hell? That is nuts. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm gonna to enhance the audio on my video. That is just to be sure. Wow. That is weird. Exactly like he said, Alistair Crowley. I want to make you start to believe in the spirit box a bit more. Like, there you go, I know, folks. I've had enough experience. EVPs, <laughs> yes, I believe in EVPs 100%. I've got the St. Joseph Simpson incident. Spirit box, it, it, I feel like it can be. You can pick out words, you know. Yeah. That's why I was more specific about. Well, yeah, no, that's why you asked them to repeat the yeah. word back. That's the important thing. Yeah. And yeah. people can hear different things, but we all heard the same thing. Yeah, we yeah, did, yeah. yeah. I all heard Alice Crowley. Yeah, that was weird. I've got to admit, that was strange. And I believe that you got that tonight because I asked you in there, will you believe if it says his name? And you said, Yeah. It's unusual, you know. Yeah. Alistair, maybe Crowley, very specific oh, name. And both together. Both together. Yeah. Astronomical. My camera's just died. My, <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, light just, yeah, my light just died. So, do you believe in spirit world now? I mean, I, I believe there's something there. I don't know what it, where it's spirits or if it's interdimensional beings or if it's past life, you know. Uh, it, it, I don't know. It could be anything. But finding out what it is is my kind of goal. I mean, you can make contact, and I have made contact before. You know, I've had, I've had intelligent responses on EVPs, but whether it's a ghost... That was all because if it's an interdimensional being, I mean, it could be aliens, really. You, know, you don't know. You just don't know. It's delving into the unknown. But I, I, there's, a, there's a theory that I really truly believe in. It's called the stone tape theory. And basically, inside the stone, you've got micro crystals and stuff. Crystals hold more memory than any hard drive on the planet. Now, these crystals can store memories, right? Don't know how you trigger them, but sometimes, just sometimes, you get triggered and replay memories. There's a famous one in York where a, a bunch of people witnessed a Roman army walking through the streets, but they were waist deep into the floor, which was the, the, the right level of the street back then. Now, could that have been uh, the Storm Tape Theory playing effective, replaying a memory from a thousand, two thousand years ago of an arm, Roman army walking through the streets? I don't know, but it's uh, I, I do like that theory. I think it is plausible and it's scientific. Mm. Cheers. So we are spooky goings on at Crowley's Mansion, and it's windy and rainy and dark outside. So yeah, it's spooky time to be up here.
All right, I'm gonna need everyone to stay completely silent for this. Right, okay, we are gonna do some EVP because you already know I truly believe in EVP, so let's roll it. All right. <laughs> I got it on now. You got that on EVP. <laughs> no. Starting now. Are we included? Are we <laughs> starting starting now. now. Yeah, start now. All right. Oh, the wind is spreading. All right. Alistair Crowley, was that you that came forward on the spirit box? Try to speak into the device in my hand. What did you do here? Listen to see if it sounds like voices or not. Yeah, that bangs. I would assume that'd be a bang from there. Bang, yeah. What was that? What was that? That was a voice. Help me. Listen. Oh, help, help me. me. Do it again. Listen. Yes, yeah. yeah, help me. Mm. Plate, plate, can you play it here? Who is he? Help me. That sounded like a, like a few words now. Yeah. Yeah. Comic album. No, no really. studio. Have a quick listen to that. Yeah, you have a couple of Hold on. I'm gonna say that I'm coming for you. Yeah, you. Oh. I'm coming for you. Listen to it as a whisper. Put it into Matt's ear. Mm. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Sounds like I'm coming for you. Oh, it does. Yeah, who? Who are you? <laughs> no, that wasn't too bad actually. You want to try it in a quiet? Oh, that's not for me, will you? Let's try it. Do you want to try different, room? different end no, of the can I try it different end of the room? Yeah. Away from the fire a bit. Do you want to try a different end of the room? Yeah, let's try it over here. We could try it in the other room as well. Because, uh, where was the, uh, the, you've had some success in the other room, haven't you? Right, what do I press? Just hit record and then stop when you're done. Right. Right, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit more authoritative. I'm trying to call him. Alright, you ready? Alistair! If you're here, come forward. What was that there? I just heard something. Alistair, if that's you, please come over and tell me in this device. Voice. There's a voice. Play that back. I fucking heard that. Play that back, there's a voice then. Where did that come from? I was going to say it. Ah. Alright, alright. Two voices. What's that? What? That. That's a voice. Yeah. We heard these things with our own ears. Sound is yeah. help us. What? Wait, wait, before him. 
Before you said, I just heard something. I don't know, honestly. Sounds like to me it said careful though. Careful, I think outside the door. Mm -hmm. Did you did you say at the end what is it? Was that you at the end? Like, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. There. That. What was that? What the hell? No, there's something there. There is some, definitely something there. Let me re go back to this right again. So it'll clear. It's a loud sentence. Sorry, mate. at the end it keeps cutting off but there's a clear distinct voice at the very end of this can I try it one more time yeah and then what we'll do is even if there's any even, even if a fucking guy walks through the door that's not saying anything no one say anything no yeah. one say anything what sounds like it's in reverse you're gonna get me Help me, they're going to get me. Oh my god. Yes, it is. Help me, they're going to get yeah, me. Help me, they're going to get me. Oh my god. I'm getting goosebumps now. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps, yeah. Someone cool. The right. energy's the energy's Whatever coming happens, up now. No one say a No. Yeah. But the energy's coming up, so okay. use the energy. Okay. Yeah. Whoever you are who needs help, come over in the middle of us and speak into this device. Whoa. The fire just fell. Fire just blew up. Come and speak into this device now. Alistair, if that is you in the shadows, make yourself known. We're currently stood in a circle surrounding the symbol on the floor. Draw your power and speak into this device. any other voices is no one else's. Who's mimicking you? Let me listen. Let me listen. Mm. None of us said anything there. Let me listen. Let me listen. 
hear me. Wait. Wait. Something, something, something too. You give me the... You meet the double two? You meet the double two? Put it in Matt's ear. Fucking hell. Put it right in his ear and right. listen to that. Because it was silent. Oh, listen. Mm. So listen. Mm. There was a pop and then there was a Listen. <gasps> Whoa, what, Whoa. what the fuck? Chill. I have these goosebumps. Oh. Fucking something. You're fucking evil. I've got fucking I've got goosebumps. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you're you're effing you're effing evil. Yeah. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. No, hold on. You Can people you are it? fucking evil. Hmm. Play it to Matt right hmm. in his ear, put it right in his ear. Hmm. Alright, it's gonna pop out. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear I that? heard it, yeah, yeah, I can hear it anyway. How do you explain that? Mm. <laughs> Wait, am I not? Yeah, no, that's over. It, so it like sounds like a no, sounds like sounds whispering. Sorry, it's whispering. It's not like the sounds of click clack clack and the the no, fire. It's, not. it's whoosh, 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 over yeah. the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it right, right at the end. So this is why I love the EVP. You can't deny that. Oh god, you can hear that clear as day. Right, I know we are plugging that into my laptop when we get back to the hotel. I'm dragging those files off, guys. I'll do the same thing I did last time where you can download them from a Google Drive and yeah, see how legit they are. And uh, put them into an editing software, you know, whatever you can and send me the enhanced clips because I don't know the clip. Can't get more legit than that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was incredible. That's yeah. all legit yeah. I, I, I Spooky shit. These are. Mm. These are mm. Insane. You're gonna go in that room? Well, we. I mean, we've got a couple of cameras to play back as well, and yeah. you never know; it might be on oh, some of our cameras. The EVPs work on all recording devices, so there could mm. be EVPs at the whole video. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll have to compare. Yeah. Very interesting. Wow. Do you believe in goals, man? Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. I've been out uh, doing spiritualist churches and stuff. Look at this, yeah. What the hell is this? Shit, that's a drop in it. What is that? It's hollow. Yeah. But it's like stone. This is. It's like stone, but it's hollow. That's weird. Hmm. You sure that's stone? It feels like it, concrete or something, but why would it be concrete and then hollow underneath? That's bizarre. You seen this, guys? Just notice this, it's like hollow. It's like concrete, but it's hollow. Uh, could, be, could be fucking bodies on the Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Nice. They discovered a false floor. Yeah, yeah. it is a false floor. False floor, and it looks like there's another layer underneath. And the scary thing is, based on what we know happens here, huh. there could Whoa. be bodies literally beneath us. What the hell is down there? There's a weird looking, is that a stone or something? Hmm, don't know. Shall we come back with a jacket? <laughs> Who's carrying it up the hill? You won't need a jacket on the hill. What is that then, folks? What is this down here? I can't really see it properly, but can we see it at home? I'm, I'm putting my camera in there to see if we get a, a better look at it. I don't know what's down there, but... Yeah. Looks like a stone, but it could be something else. Uh, wow. But it seems like they put a put a slab of something over here, but it feels like it's solid stone. But then it's got yeah, a it's got a big old hole. It's a big old hole underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. No, you'll stay in there. Me on that. Pick that back. You've got everything in here, including the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. Get right into it. Alistair Crowley, are you here in this room with us now? The one asking for help, now is the time to tell us what's happening. Why do you need help? Alistair, is it you who need help? Did your evil deeds bite you in the ass? What's that noise? What? Do you hear that? There's a noise that was my lens. Keeps oh. watching. Oh, okay. Shit. It's not so much outside. Right, let's play it. Just the, just the one EVP saying evil. I think, I, I, I understand that maybe the, the energy from the fire is what's caused it to be so yeah. vocal. Yeah, well, room. we've been doing everything in that the room. The wind's so picked up again, isn't it? We've been charging that room. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm satisfied. You do know what this means, don't you? Return. Overnight. Yeah. That only means we go to Scotland. <laughs> house now. Oh, I want to go there. Yeah, we can actually go to Scotland one too. Yeah. Right. If you guys aren't aware, I'm talking to both cameras here, there is another Aleister Crowley house on the opposite end of the country. Um, and yeah, I think we should, we should do it. Yeah. 100%. If you guys think we should, let us know down below. Well, funny enough, apparently, when Carl filled in there, a bunch of uh, occultists have tried suing him. Yeah? They said that they bought it and they're turning it into a, a spiritual retreat. Now, the same people who bought it actually have some company where they bring people from around the world to do satanic uh, rituals. Okay. Yeah. But didn't you yeah. also, weren't you saying that this place was supposedly up for sale or something? Yeah. 
You think, and you said you think it could be the occultists that are uh, yeah. just saying that to keep people out of here. Yeah, that's You're what right. they're doing. I believe that's what they're doing. I don't believe this has been sold. Um, the woman that owns this is... Um, what does it hold that, this? That was a can, which was probably on top of the fireplace. Right, okay. Yeah, the woman that owns this is actually um, into witchcraft. She's a wicker witch. Uh, she's quite old, lovely woman. Um, she owns a cafe down in the village, so if you ever come here, go and pay a visit. But I don't believe that um, this has been sold. Mm. No. I think it's a cultist trying to keep us all away. Sounds very weird what you're no, saying. But it's similar to the, the thing going on in Scotland. Yeah, it is. Right. A lot of bangs going in that room. Yeah, let's go yeah. in the other room real quick. <laughs> Uh, it's been up there about 10 minutes. What, and only now just fell down? Yeah, I, I put it up there just when I finished it. Well, the camp, that kind of GoPro has been filming the whole time. Hmm. Who's that? Must be, yeah. Is it your GoPro? Yeah. Cool. It's interesting to see what's on there. Right, as I said, everyone, um, we're going to close off tonight. There's more places to go. And again, what? you had an e e EF phenomena then. Extended right. fart. <laughs> No, you didn't. You were speaking as we went <laughs> in the oh. background. You didn't hear it. Oh, you want to start that one again? Right. All right. So we have many places to, to hit tonight. Oh. Basically. All right, everyone. Before you go, if you did enjoy this, you will absolutely enjoy this video right here. Don't even think about it. Just smash it right now, and we'll end it as we always do. Do you believe it? Yeah. Done. Good video there. Cool. <laughs> now we have to. Uh, oh, some epic captions. Yeah. Oh. Now we have to uh, go <laughs> on the moor and uh, suffer the howling wind and rain to oh, get out of here. Rescue, That's going to be rescue, interesting. Rescue my drone. Yeah. Oh Christ! Where is your drone? It's landed down there. What do you mean you left it in the rain? Yeah. It's fine. Jesus. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh Christ. Yeah, Thank you.